This lecture is on solving equations on the computer. So far we used graphical methods and analytical methods to analyze x dot is equal to f of x. We now consider some numerical integration methods of x dot is equal to f of x. Here's a general problem statement. Given x dot is equal to f of x subject to the initial condition x is equal to x naught at t is equal to t naught, find a way to approximate the solution x of t. Let's outline Euler's method. Initially we are at x naught and the local velocity is f of x naught. If the phase point moves for a short time delta t, the new position is x of t naught plus delta t is approximately equal to x naught plus f of x naught times delta t, which we call x1. Then x of t naught plus delta t is approximately x1 which is equal to x naught plus f of x naught times delta t. So the new location is actually x1 and so the new velocity is f of x1. And so x2 is equal to x1 plus f of x1 times delta t. And so we continue like this. So the general update rule is then x of n plus 1 is equal to xn plus f of xn times delta t. So let's see how Euler's scheme actually works. Plot x of t versus t. We identify t0, t1 and t2. That's the exact solution. We identify x0 which is the initial condition corresponding to t0. Highlight x of t1 and x of t2. The open dots show values x of tn at discrete times tn is equal to t0 plus n times delta t. We then highlight values from Euler scheme x1 and x2. That comes from Euler's scheme and we go ahead and connect the dots. The closed dots show approximate values given by Euler's method. Note that delta d should be small else the approximation will actually be bad. So here's a simple-minded representation of Euler's numerical scheme for approximating the solution of a differential equation. So it's natural to ask if we can actually improve on the Euler method. The issue with the Euler method is that it estimates the derivative only at the left hand end of the time interval between Tn and Tn plus 1. A better way is to use the average derivative across the time interval. So here's the improved Euler method. Using the Euler method, take a trial step across the interval and we'll get a trial value x tilde n plus 1 is equal to xn plus f of xn times delta t. Then we average f of xn and f of x tilde n plus 1 and use it to make the real step across the interval. The method is as follows. x tilde n plus 1 
is equal to xn plus f of xn times delta t which is the trial step then xn plus 1 is equal to xn plus a half of f of xn plus f of x tilde n plus 1 times delta t and this is the actual step this gives a smaller error e which is x of tn minus xn for a given step size delta t now in both the cases the error e tends to 0 as delta t tends to 0 but the error decreases faster for the improved Euler scheme note that the error is proportional to delta t in the Euler method and is proportional to delta t square in the improved Euler scheme now are there other numerical methods that one could use now before mentioning them we mentioned that in the language of numerical analysis the Euler method is a first order method and the improved Euler method is a second order method. Higher order methods have been devised in the literature but they actually involve additional computations. In practice a very good scheme is the fourth order runge cutter scheme. This was actually developed by German mathematicians working in approximately 1900. So the objective is to find xn plus 1 in terms of xn. So xn plus 1 is equal to xn plus 1 upon 6 times k1 plus 2 times k2 plus 2 times k3 plus k4 where k1 is f of xn times delta t, k2 is f of xn plus a half k1 times delta t, k3 is equal to f of xn plus a half k2 times delta t, and k4 is equal to f of xn plus k3 times delta t. Now usually this gives us very accurate results without having to rely on very small step sizes delta t. This lecture was centered around using the computer to solve our uh, differential equations using numerical methods. We've seen a variety of analytical methods to develop intuition about nonlinear equations of the form x dot is equal to f of x. But it can sometimes be rather difficult to develop intuition purely analytically because the nonlinearity may be just very, very strange. So it's perfectly fair and it's perfectly sensible to actually use the computer to actually simulate the differential equation to actually develop some insights about how the equation would actually behave. So to that end, we highlighted a couple of numerical schemes. We started off with a very simple Euler method we introduced you to the improved Euler method and we also mentioned that in practice a good compromise between accuracy and efficiency is actually obtained by the fourth order runge cutter method. Now interestingly these two mathematicians, uh, German mathematicians, actually devised the scheme in 1901 and that was way before computers were actually devised. In fact, computers played an extremely crucial role in the popularization of nonlinear dynamics, and that was done by a very famous paper by Lorenz in 1963, where he had numerical computations of a model that he had devised for atmospheric dynamics to show that it had all kinds of very, very strange behavior. So, the lesson from this particular lecture is that. Uh, Numerical schemes in the computer can't be a substitute for analysis, but in fact they're an excellent complement to the analysis.